Whoa! Whoa! Hello guys, I appear in here back with another video. I'll be covering the new vanity abilities from the machine, which got released for this year's April Fools. I myself don't share much interest with vanity items as they are pretty much cosmetic and take up space, and I lack space as a free to play player, but these vanities are so cool that I had to try and get all of them, which I got most of them, but oh well. I got friends to cover the ones I didn't get. Anyways, just to get it over with and for clarification, I'll cover the new meme set and some of the other basic info. First up, the Ring of Omni Impotence. This ring makes up the mistake set. It is literally the polar opposite of the actual Omni in stat, and it also has a set bonus too. The mistake set consists of the machine vanity weapons, abilities, cheetah armors which also now drop from the machine, and the ring itself. Basically you end up with pretty much no stats and this glitchy sprite, which is really cool. I slapped her on Samuel cause he's my mascot. A very cool nexus flex I'd say. Now for the other bit of info, these new vanity abilities drop from the minions of the dungeon. I'd say it's a 1 in 20 drop chance, so not that rare, especially when there are multiple minions per dungeon. But the last minion doesn't drop the ability, it drops a cheater armor. And the ring of omni impotence is an orange bag, and it drops on the final boss. And I must say, it is extremely rare. I only got one of them, and I've done a lot of machines. One last bit of info is the event for the machine has a super low chance of spawning a chest, which gives you a special skin. I got this ninja, which is cool. There's a bunch of other stuff, but I've been talking for a while now. Let's just cut to the abilities. And first up, we got the time of moral support. On use, instead of healing your allies, you literally encourage them on the chat, with a cooldown of 5 seconds. So when someone is at the brink of death, don't heal them, just encourage them. Next up we got the spelling spell. The sprite looks like a can of soup. On use, you shoot out the alphabet. In the card it has 26 shots, like the alphabet. And it also only costs 26 mana, like the alphabet. The damage is 10 to 100, so you deal 260 to 2600 damage per use, for 26 mana. That is actually usable, it's so cheap, and you have a chance to deal okay damage, so that's pretty cool. The challenger helm. That's a pretty good looking sprite for a vanity dammit. When you use this, you do the opposite of what a tiered helm does. Instead of moving faster and shooting faster with speedy and berserk, you move slower and shoot slower with slow and daze. The NSF Wakizashi. The description says it's a double-edged Wakizashi that exposes in more ways than one, which it actually does, but it also shoots an eggplant at your samurai and exposes you, not just as a debuff, but literally expose your samurai. <laughs> An interesting thing however is that it can actually expose enemies for 10 seconds. Although exposing yourself and having one range makes you think twice before actually trying to use this weapon seriously. On to one of my favourites, Lightning in the Bottle. This is a poison for the assassin and it's extremely cool. Although off the bat I'll let you know that you can only use this in the realm for some weird reason. Not even in the nexus, I don't know why. When you throw it, it literally hurls lightning, which looks absolutely awesome. It does 300 damage too, and stasis the enemy for 1.8 seconds, to sorta of give that lightning effect. You can only use it every 5 seconds. The Archerang. You know what's cool about this quiver? It's actually usable, it's not the best, but definitely usable and fun. At the cost of 75 mana, you shoot 5 boomerang shots, each dealing 50 to 100 damage, and they're paralyzed and slow for 2 seconds. It doesn't look that vanity, and it's actually usable. I really like it though, because it looks like you're ensnaring the enemy every time you use it. The Karma Orb. This orb stasis is enemies. And yourself. It actually petrifies you, which means you do take damage. I mean, this item could be really cheeky for stasis on yourself, cause that would kinda mean you're invincible too. The Mirror Cloak. This cloak surprisingly has the longest cloaking duration of all cloaks, being 7 seconds. But it spawns a Mirror Clone decoy which follows you, making the invisibility utterly useless. I love this item either way. With two of yourself there's many things you can do. The shield of Pogma. It straight up just shoots the Pogma. That is very sexy. The funny thing about this item is that it actually armor breaks too, but for only half a second, and costs 100 mana, and only has half a tile of range. But still, it armor breaks, so maybe it can be used? The Epiphany Skull. Only people with big brains can use this. This one is pretty cool too. On use, you summon a mini flying brain, which follows you for a bit. And with a bunch of mana, you can summon multiple of them, and it looks awesome. Yet another cool vanity you can show off. The Unshuriken. This is a peculiar item. Normal stars give you speedy while holding spacebar. This one gives you confuse. Confuse challenge anyone? Also, when you release spacebar, you throw a shuriken for one range and it comes back. It deals 1000 damage though, so that's pretty cheeky, especially since it only costs 50 mana to use. 
which kind of means it's the best star to use on chests or safe idle enemies. By the way, I did manage to do one of the rare chests during the machine event and got this cool ninja skin. Now onto what's probably my favourite item, it's the helium trap. It's actually a helium balloon, and we all know they flow slowly, which is why this trap takes 15 seconds to land at its spot. Big Kazakhstan is uh. legitimately from Kazakhstan. <laughs> <laughs> and it deals a fair 1000 damage. It's definitely going to be hard to actually pull off that damage with such a long air time and only one tile radius though. You know that gives me another idea. Challenge to get loot with a bad item? Hell yeah. Now for what's probably my favourite and almost everyone's favourite item. The ultimate trolling tool. What you guys probably wanted to see the most in this video. The fake white bag generator known as the fool's prism. The normal, totally a white bag item drops a white bag on use and that's it. It's just a consumable so you can only use it once and you actually have to sit on the enemy to actually pull off the trick. Which is a little tedious. But this item, at the cost of 70 mana, you can spawn a fake white bag on your cursor. Just like that, which is super cool. This guy actually managed to kill players with it. I'm gonna have so much fun with this. For the last two items, I didn't manage to get them unfortunately, which is the big sad. But luckily for me, I've got some friends with a helping hand. First up, the Honey Scepter Supreme. This is actually an awesome item. When you use it, you become this. But not only that, it's actually really interesting. It can hit over 15 targets doing about 100 to over 200 damage with no drop off. So this can actually hit a whole metric ton of enemies. It can probably wipe out the whole abyss of demons just from the spawn room. I really wish I got this item. Finally, the seal of eternal life. This one's funny. At the cost of 100 mana, you inflict energize on yourself for 5 seconds. Energize is a buff where you gain increased mana regen, precisely 20 mana per second. And since it lasts 5 seconds, that means you get all your mana back to use this seal again. So that's all the new vanity items covered. You guys should check my other video of the weapons if you want to know what they were like. Some are actually viable. Anyways, these vanities are crazy fun, especially trolling with the prism. And a lot of them are very aesthetic. Here's a short montage of me grinding hard for the prism, straight from the beginning, showing only abilities since weapons are way too common. What? Follow the golden nib. I am alala, umbayala. I am alala, balumbalala. I am alala, umbayala. I am alala. Oh.